Here's an example where you're asked to simplify uh, an expression that has negative exponents in it. And the first thing I would encourage you to do if you see an expression like this with negative exponents is to rewrite it, um, but make those exponents positive by moving them either to the numerator or denominator. So for example, in this numerator, you have x squared, which I'm gonna leave alone, minus y to the negative five. So instead of writing y to the negative five, I'm gonna write that as one over y to the fifth. Okay, and in the denominator, you have x to the negative three, so I'm gonna make that one over x cubed, plus y to the negative two, so I'll make that one over y squared. Now you have a complex fraction, which is the phrase that we use for um, an expression like this that has fractions within a larger fraction. And the best way to simplify a complex fraction is to multiply the numerator and denominator by the least common denominator of these inner, of these inner fractions. So the le least common denominator of the y to the fifth, x cubed, and y squared. So to get that least common denominator, we want to include all the factors of each of those denominators. So I see x cubed, I'm just going to write so we know we need a, f a factor of x cubed. Uh, now we also need a power of y. And so the, the lowest common denominator or least common denominator is the least common multiple of those denominators. So we should include, if we want the least common multiple of those denominators, we should include the higher exponent. So x cubed y to the fifth. Notice that if we multiply the entire numerator and the entire denominator by that LCD, x cubed y to the fifth, each of those little denominators, those inner denominators are gonna cancel. So I'm gonna distribute x cubed y to the fifth to each of these terms. And now that's equal to, well, I think I'll write this out long way. So x squared times x cubed y to the fifth minus one over y to the fifth times x cubed y to the fifth all over one, you get the idea. Okay, and now's the fun part. So now I get to cancel. Uh, okay, so the, the y to the fifth will cancel here, y to the fifth over y to the fifth, so those are gone. x cubed cancels here, x cubed over x cubed. And then the y squared will cancel here, but that will leave, since we have the fifth power here, we now have the third power. So we take away two, since y squared is what we canceled. Okay, so now we're left with, here, remember, you should add the exponents. Um, the Law of exponents that's at play there is the fact that x to the a times x to the b is x to the a plus b. That's one of your properties of exponents. So the x squared times x cubed gives us x to the 2 plus 3, so x to the fifth, and then that y to the fifth, minus, okay, everything canceled in the second part of that numerator except the x cubed. The denominator, uh, everything canceled except for the y to the fifth, plus uh, here we have x cubed, y cubed. The one thing we could do now is you could factor out, uh, you have a common factor of x in the numerator, so we could factor out x to the, always factor out the lower exponent, so x cubed, and you'd be left with x squared y to the fifth minus one. I'm sorry, I'm trying to squeeze it into the last corner here. We could factor out, we have a common factor of y in the denominator, always factor out the lower exponent, so y cubed, and you're left with y squared plus x cubed. 